Motion, motion refers to a change in an object's position over time. It can be described in terms of speed and velocity. Concepts such as acceleration, inertia, and momentum are also related to motion. Earth's resources, Earth's resources refer to the materials and substances found on Earth that are valuable and useful to humans. They can be classified as renewable or non-renewable. The study of Earth's resources involves exploring their distribution, extraction, utilization, and the importance of sustainable management to protect the environment. Electricity and Magnetism Electricity is a form of energy resulting from the movement of charged particles, such as electrons. It involves the flow of electric current through conductors like wires and circuits. Magnetism is the property of certain materials to attract or repel other materials. The interaction between electricity and magnetism gives rise to electromagnetism, which is utilized in various technologies, including electric motors, generators, and magnetic devices. Hypothesis a hypothesis is an educated guess or a proposed explanation for a scientific phenomenon or observation. It is based on prior knowledge, observations, and logical reasoning. A hypothesis is often formulated as an if then statement and serves as a starting point for scientific investigation. Conservation of mass. The conservation of mass is a fundamental principle in science that states that matter is neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. This means that the total mass of the substances involved remains constant before and after the reaction, even though their physical or chemical properties may change. Adaptation Adaptation refers to the characteristics or behaviors that enable living organisms to survive and thrive in their specific environments. Adaptations can be structural, physiological, or behavioral. They help organisms meet their basic needs, such as finding food, shelter, and mates. Sustainable Sustainability refers to practices or actions that meet the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. It involves using resources wisely, conserving energy, reducing waste, protecting ecosystems, and making choices that have a minimal impact on the environment. Renewable resources Renewable resources are natural resources that can be replenished or replaced within a human lifespan. They are essentially inexhaustible or have the ability to regenerate over time. Examples include solar energy, wind energy, hydropower, biomass, and geothermal energy. Non-renewable resources Non-renewable resources are natural resources that cannot be replenished within a reasonable time frame once they are depleted. They exist in limited quantities and take millions of years to form. Examples include fossil fuels and minerals. Ecosystem An ecosystem is a community of living organisms interacting with their physical environment. It includes both biotic factors and abiotic factors. Ecosystems can vary in size, from a small pond to a large forest, and they exhibit complex relationships and interdependencies among organisms and their environment. Solar System The solar system is a collection of celestial bodies, including the sun, planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and other smaller objects, all bound together by gravity. The eight planets in our solar system, in order of their distance from the Sun, are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These celestial objects orbit the Sun. Conservation Conservation refers to the protection, preservation, and sustainable use of natural resources, 
ecosystems, and biodiversity. It involves responsible management practices to ensure the long-term survival and well-being of ecosystems and the species that inhabit them. Conservation efforts aim to maintain ecological balance, prevent habitat destruction, and promote the wise use of resources. Biodiversity Biodiversity is the variety and variability of living organisms found in a particular habitat or on Earth as a whole. It encompasses the diversity of species, genetic diversity within species, and the diversity of ecosystems. Biodiversity is important for ecosystem stability, resilience, and the provision of ecosystem services such as pollination, nutrient cycling, and air and water purification. Pollution Pollution refers to the introduction of harmful substances or contaminants into the environment, resulting in adverse effects on the ecosystem, human health, or the quality of air, water, or soil. Common types of pollution include air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution, and light pollution. Pollution can originate from human activities industrial processes, transportation, and natural sources. Climate change. Climate change refers to long-term shifts in global or regional climate patterns, including temperature, precipitation, wind patterns, and other aspects of the Earth's climate system. It is primarily caused by human activities, particularly the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Climate change has far-reaching impacts on ecosystems, weather patterns, sea levels, and the well-being of human and animal populations. Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants, algae, and some bacteria convert sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen. It is a crucial process that sustains life on Earth and is responsible for the production of oxygen and the conversion of solar energy into chemical energy. Cell A cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms. It is the smallest entity that exhibits all the characteristics of life. Cells have a variety of specialized structures called organelles that perform specific functions. There are two main types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Erosion. Erosion is the process of wearing away or the gradual removal of materials from the Earth's surface. It is primarily caused by natural forces such as water, wind, and ice. Erosion can reshape landscapes, transport sediment, and contribute to the formation of features like canyons, valleys, and deltas. Climate Climate refers to the long-term patterns of weather conditions in a particular region. It is determined by factors like latitude, altitude, proximity to large bodies of water, and atmospheric conditions. Climate influences the types of ecosystems found in different regions and has a significant impact on human activities. Biodegradable Biodegradable refers to substances or materials that can be broken down or decomposed by natural processes, usually by microorganisms, into simpler compounds. Biodegradable materials are less harmful to the environment because they do not persist for long periods and contribute to pollution. Ozone layer The ozone layer is a region of the Earth's stratosphere that contains a high concentration of ozone molecules. It plays a crucial role in protecting life on Earth by absorbing the majority of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation.
the depletion of the ozone layer, primarily caused by human-made substances known as ozone-depleting substances, poses a threat to the environment and human health. Plate tectonics Plate tectonics is the scientific theory that explains the movement and interactions of Earth's lithospheric plates. It states that the Earth's crust is divided into several large plates that float on the semi-fluid asthenosphere beneath them. These plates can move, collide, and separate, leading to geological events such as earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the formation of mountain ranges. Fossil fuels Fossil fuels are energy resources formed from the remains of ancient plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. They include coal, oil, and natural gas. Fossil fuels are non-renewable and are extensively used as energy sources for electricity generation, transportation, and industrial processes. However, their combustion releases greenhouse gases and contributes to climate change. Genetics Genetics is the branch of biology that studies genes, heredity, and genetic variation in living organisms. It involves understanding how traits are passed down from parents to offspring through genes and the role of DNA in the inheritance of traits. Genetics encompasses topics such as DNA structure, gene expression, genetic disorders, and genetic engineering. Biotic factors Biotic factors are living components or organisms within an ecosystem. They include all plants, animals, microorganisms, and other organisms that interact with each other and their environment. Biotic factors play a significant role in shaping the structure and dynamics of ecosystems, such as through predator-prey relationships, competition for resources, and symbiotic interactions. Abiotic factors Abiotic factors are non-living components or physical factors that influence an ecosystem. They include factors such as temperature, sunlight, water availability, soil composition, pH levels, and topography. Abiotic factors directly or indirectly affect the survival, distribution, and behavior of organisms in an ecosystem. Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants, algae, and some bacteria convert sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into glucose and oxygen. It occurs in chloroplasts, which contain the pigment chlorophyll. Photosynthesis is the primary means by which energy from the sun is captured and transformed into chemical energy in the form of glucose. Excretion Excretion is the process by which waste products, such as carbon dioxide, water, urea, and other metabolic byproducts, are removed from the body of an organism. It is an essential function to maintain homeostasis and eliminate potentially harmful substances from the body. Newton's Laws of Motion Newton's Laws of Motion are fundamental principles of physics that describe the behavior of objects in motion. They were formulated by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century. The three laws are the law of inertia, the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration, and the principle of action and reaction. Chromosome. Chromosomes are thread-like structures made up of DNA and proteins found in the nucleus of cells. They carry genetic information and are passed from parents to offspring during reproduction. Humans typically have 23 pairs of chromosomes in most cells, except for reproductive cells.